Hi class, today we are going to use our selection tools to create simple stencils. And then we are going to take that selection and fill the inside of it with a variety of values to create three dimensionality. We will be doing this in grayscale. Um, we will also learn how to create our own custom defined brush in order to create the rind. And then we're going to turn it into color at the end and make a few of these lemons. So let's get started. And I am going to just, I have a file up here, but I'm going to just create a new file to set you up. And that's file new. In here, we're going to title the file. Stencil of a lemon. Stencil of a lemon. Next, this is our preset. We're going to set our preset. Let me pull this down so you, you can see it a little better. Come here. And we'll use a photo size. Now remember that when you create a file from the ground up, meaning you're not bringing a photograph into it, this is the moment that you size that file because you cannot enlarge. So make sure you're happy with the size. Like this is too small. It, landscape 2 by 3 it doesn't sound like a good plan. So I want to take this up maybe to a landscape 8 by 10. Resolution then automatically is 300. And the RGB color mode, no. The color mode for today is going to be grayscale. We're choosing grayscale because you get to really learn how to work your values when you're working in grayscale. And then the background contents, yes, white. You might want foreground. Actually, right here, let's just choose white. The background would have worked also because my background is white. But for all of us, let's make sure that we have white. And then click OK. Great. Now, you've studied the selection tools and you've looked at some of these other tutorials. Uh, select, selection tools allow you to isolate part of your image so that you can manipulate only that part of that image and then the rest of the image is protected. It's really nice. It's like you're masking off an area so that you can work on it. Uh, we're going to begin with the basic selections in this study and we're going to go to the very top left of your toolbox, hold the mouse down, and choose the second tool, the elliptical marquee tool. And the shortcut is M, or if you're toggling through these, that's Shift M, 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 until you hold that Shift key down, until you find your tool of choice. Great. So now we have the uh, elliptical marquee tool. And I'm going to come into the image and I'm going to click and drag like this and create kind of like a lemon oval shape. And then what I want to do is add the nodules to either side that a lemon has. You know, from picking the lemon, you have sort of right by the stem, you have these little nodules that, that poke out of the lemon. And I've got to switch my tool because I don't really want them to be kind of round. I want them to be sort of hand formed. And the tool to do that with is right below this selection tool. We're going to come into the second tool down. And the lasso tool, which might have been what you saw, but that's the first tool in the drop down menu in the shortcuts L. Now, this tool we are going to add these nodules to the lemon and you do that with the shift key hold down your shift key your shift key is the adder of your selections it will add to a selection it can also add and make a selection separate from this one if you wanted but we want to add to this selection and i'm going to hold the shift key down and starting inside your selection because everything in here is already selected there's nothing you can do to add to that. We start in though, and we come starting in, we drag out, holding the mouse down, holding that shift key down, 
to add. And then we've got this little portion added for the one part of the lemon. And then there's usually a little smaller piece on the other side. Now, keep in mind, again, that you can always be undoing if you're like, oh my gosh, that's not what I wanted, that at any point you can undo a step and just try again. Now you come in here, hold the shift key down. And add that little piece there. Now, maybe I don't like that one. Undo. Try it again, starting inside. I'm just going to lift it up a little. It looks like the other side. And I'm going to make it a little smaller. That's fine. So, let's say you like that. You can do it until you're happy with your shape. We're now moving to the paintbrush. One, two, three, four. And I'm going to also come up to the options bar and choose a soft brush. So we come into one of these brushes here and the soft brushes are the best. And I'm going to change the size and the, the size outside of this window, this sub menu. So click in your gray area. The brush can get bigger with the brackets next to the letter P on your keyboard. To the right of your keyboard, you have these brackets, and the right one makes it larger, the left one makes it smaller. And I want a really large brush because I'm going to be sweeping over this stencil, and I'm going to just be blend, you know, slowly lifting, excuse me, slowly building um, a shade of gray until I'm happy with it looking three-dimensional. And so I need to do that. I have black as the foreground, which is fine. And you get that with these two icons right here. But uh, I'm going to turn the opacity down. I like to build this. So we're going to take it down quite a bit, maybe in the 30%. And we'll just see what that looks like. And then we're just going to sweep over this quickly. Something like that. Now. We're going to think about the light source, and let's say the light source is coming from the top right. The light's beaming down and hitting this lemon here. That means the shading is going to be darker over in this region. So just set more of a shadow in the area where you feel that it needs a little more shadowing here in the bottom left something like that and that big brush really will help you do that now you can always turn the opacity down a little bit and I probably would have turned it a little more so I'm gonna just do that because then you can build it a lot easier um, in addition you have an airbrush right here and this again you can click on this and if you click on your airbrush and turn your flow down it's as though you're working with a spray can uh, bottle and you're, the air in the nozzle is coming out at a slower rate. So you have to hold your nozzle or mouse down longer. And this can also help you build up your values. Okay, now either before you paint in the lemon, like we just did, or right now, make sure that you do this next step. We are going to save this selection, and that means we'll be able to retrieve the same selection later. So go ahead and save selection, and this is the window that pops up. This is just telling you that you are working in this document. It's a brand new channel, and we're going to title it Lemon, and click OK. Great. This allows us to uh, get this selection back, retrieve the selection again, because now we're going to deselect it. So that's why we wanted to save it. And it's important, if you have a very complicated uh, selection that you want to do for your stencil, then this, of course, is important. You want to be able to reselect it. And here we're going to deselect. This is Command-D or Control-D. And there's our lemon. Reason why we did that is that up here in the corner, 
we are going to make a little tiny set of um, rind brushes and that's done with this brush and I'm just going to make the brush smaller with the brackets and come in and let's uh, excuse me let's turn up the opacity a bit before we start again always looking up at that options bar and I'm gonna turn up the opacity up closer to a hundred percent and we're going to make a little uh, little uh, grouping of dots that sort of simulate the look of a rind and of course some of you are going to be a lot more artistic and if you feel like it you can you can explore the idea of creating your own rind brush but these are the basics so turn your opacity up or down and I'm going to create the rind brush right here now you could zoom in because and I think I will so that you can see what I'm doing here I'm going to grab that zoom tool and zoom in on this sort of portion right here click on the brush and pop in you know some random you know looking sort of rind and of course I like to also change the size which you can do here or with your brackets make a few smaller make a few larger you know maybe some are softer you know this is really how you might want to do it some might be a little dark, uh, lighter. I'm going to turn that opacity down and put in a few that... Now, some students really get creative with this, and I just love it. How fun. And also, you are not going to necessarily... I don't want you to do a lemon for your project. Try some other object, even if it's an orange or... If you want to kind of stay basic, good to work with an orange, or you might want to check out some of those really cool stencil artists. Like a lot of the uh, students love Banksy. And look up Banksy, and I'll, I'll give you a little web link if you're interested in that. Okay, you keep going. I'm going to keep making a few more of these. Turn up the opacity. But you want to kind of get a grouping. Anyway, that's approximately the idea. And if you don't like it, of course, you can always undo and try it again. That's good. I kind of like it random. So now what we're going to do is we are going to select this. And we'll use this, again, back to the elliptical marquee tool, the top left tool. We're going to come in. And what I do is I position the marquee where the horizontal uh, axis is along the top of these, and then the vertical axis is on the, along the side. So I know that I'll get them all, and then click and drag around this, and you should be able to get them. And now we're not going to save that. What we want to do here is in your edit menu, we're going to define this as a brush preset then we've got that set up and that's exactly how you make your own brush you just select the material and then you can say lemon oops lemon rind and click OK now we don't want this anymore so edit cut and that's how you cut material and cut your selection and everything now, to look at the lemon again, that shortcut is great. It is Command-0, and I'm going to do it here so you can see it, but Command-0 is your friend, or Control-0 on the window. Pops it back out. We need to reselect the lemon under the Select menu. I am going to load that selection, and you've got to find the correct channel that's where these selections live and we'll look at that later but we're going to go in here and make sure you choose the the channel that you want which was the lemon the title click OK and let's paint that in with the brush now we click on the brush 
And the lemon that you just made is the last breath.